Exudate is the fluid that leaks from the wound. It is a natural and essential part of the wound healing process, but it can cause challenges if not assessed and managed correctly. That is why you need to know how you should assess wound exudate. I always look for these three things. One, I assess the amount of exudate. Two, I determine the type of exudate. And three, I check for exudate pooling. To accurately assess the amount of exudate, I look at the wound and check the dressing when I remove it. You are on the right track if the dressing has effectively absorbed and retained the exudate. Remember, an optimal wound environment is balanced, neither too wet nor too dry. Ask yourself, did you see an overproduction of exudate? This might be a sign of complications. It is important to understand the cause of this. Or is the wound dry? This can slow down the healing process and be painful for your patient. The amount of exudate tells you which dressing to choose and when to change it. If the previous dressing was unable to manage the amount of exudate, consider a dressing with better absorption capacity or reconsider how often you should change it. Exudate should be clear and watery with a pale amber color. Look out for any changes in color, consistency, or odor since the last dressing change. Changes may indicate increased levels of bacteria in the wound and might be a sign of infection. Ask yourself, does the exudate appear clear, red, or greenish? Does it have thick consistency? If in doubt, always seek advice. Lastly, examine the surface of the wound bed. Stay alert. Bacteria may multiply in gaps and small pockets where exudate can pool, since this gives a moist, warm environment with a lot of nutrients. Exudate may then leak out onto the wound edges and periwound skin and cause maceration, which will lead to delayed healing. Carefully assess periwound skin to timely manage maceration or any periwound skin damage. Ask yourself, is the wound bed surface irregular? Do you see cavities or pockets where exudate can pool? Did the previous dressing manage to conform to the wound bed and manage the gap? The wound depth and its condition will guide you if a conforming dressing is required to reduce the risk of exudate pooling. Well done on this learning. Join me in the next episode where you will learn how to manage wound exudate and the gap.